Welcome back to Electrical Lectures channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss different methods to control speed of DC motor. One of the most important features of the DC motor is that their speed can easily be controlled. There are three general methods of speed control of a DC motor. First method is by adding resistance in series with field winding. This method is called field flux control. The second method is variation of armature voltage using PWM or ward leonard method. This method is called armature voltage control. The last method is adding resistance in series with armature circuit. This method is called armature resistance control. To understand all three speed control methods, we must know these three equations. First equation is relation of motor speed with terminal voltage and field flux. Second equation is relation of armature current with internal generated voltage or back EMF. Last equation is relation of induced torque with field flux and armature control. Let's get started with detail of first method which is field flux control. This is the internal diagram of DC shunt motor. This is armature winding and this is field winding. Let's add variable resistor RF in series with field winding. As we increase RF, field current IF is decreased according to this relation. As IF is decreased, field flux is decreased. As flux is decreased, back EMF is decreased. As back EMF is decreased, armature current is increased according to this equation. As armature current predominates over decrease in flux, the resultant induced torque is increased. As the induced torque is greater than load torque, the motor speed is also increased. In summary, as field flux or field current is decreased, the motor speed is increased. This can also be verified by speed and flux relation which states that speed is inversely proportional to field flux. As flux is decreased, the speed of motor is increased. The second and most commonly used method of speed control is called armature voltage control. As you can see in the diagram, the field voltage VT remains constant and only armature voltage VA is variable according to desired speed. The variable voltage can be achieved using ward leonard system or pulse width modulation PWM. By increasing armature voltage VA, armature current IA is increased according to this relation. As armature current IA is increased, the induced torque is increased according to this relation. As the induced torque is greater than load torque, the motor speed is also increased. In summary, as armature voltage is increased, the motor speed is increased. The last method is armature resistance control which is least common and inefficient method of speed control. Here you can see in diagram that variable resistor RA is added in series with armature to control armature current IA. As armature resistance RA is increased, armature current IA is decreased. As armature current IA is decreased, induced torque is decreased. As induced torque is less than load torque, the speed of motor is decreased. In summary, motor speed decreases with decrease in armature current. I hope you clearly understand how to control speed of DC motor. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.